This is a video to show you do-it-yourselfers how to install a level 2 200 volt uh, 30 amp EV charger yourself. Um, I just bought this Bosch Power Max. I got this one because it's the cheapest one out there, but it doesn't mean it's the cheap one because Bosch is a good brand name. This costs $592, and so I'll show you how to install it yourself in like 10 minutes. So this comes, this charger, what it comes with this is this unit a manual, a backing plate, and some screws. What I bought in addition to this is, is a plug and a cord. The plug and the cord I got from uh, Lowe's, which is $30 for both of them. Um, and I got some uh, wire terminals that I've stuck on the end of that, and I shredded that. So in my case, I have this 240 volt outlet that I'm not using. It was designed for a dryer, but I have a natural uh, gas dryer, so I'm not using this. And the reason that I did this is um, I've got this uh, MIG welder that I use occasionally that I use to plug in and out and plug in and out when I want to use it. Now, all manufacturers said you should hire, hardwire these things into it. But like I said, I've, I've got an outlet that I'm going to use, and for the vast majority of the time, um, this will be plugged into the outlet, and occasionally I'll unplug it to use my welder. Um, so that's what I've got right now. I've got the Volt, which is charging right now, with the stock, the one that came with the car, the 110 charger, which charges the car on a 12-amp charge. It takes eight hours, and on an 8-amp uh, charge, charge it takes about 12 hours but with this one I'll be able to charge in three or four hours okay so here we go from start to finish first I'm going to wire up this plug I've already stripped the wires So this plug here is a 250 volt, 50 amp rated plug. This wire here is 8 gauge, capable of 40 amps. Again, more than enough to power the EV charger without any problems, without any heating. Okay. Lay it back in.
on. So this is probably the most difficult part of the whole procedure. Now I'm going to stop the camera and place it over here so you can get a better look at what's inside. Uh, my tape ran out as I was finishing, but here we have, we're finished here. L1, L2 ground, line 1, line 2 ground, that's set in. Okay, now that's done, I'm going to reset the camera and go on to the next step. Take two. So, all we did was put on this cord up to here. Again, this is a 250 volt, 50 amp rated plug with 8 gauge wire, which is capable of 40 amps. Hooked up to this plug here that's hooked up to a 40 amp breaker. So, the next thing we're going to do is put on the mounting bracket. Choose to put it right here. here. 
of the Torx bit. Like I said, the light is green. Plug into the vault. And there you have it. In Ten minutes. Installing a level two EV charger all by yourself. Again, all you need is a if you have this plug, uh, the right plug, you can do it yourself. If you don't have the plug, you need to get a contractor or somebody to install this for you. But this is a do-it-yourself. Um, EV charger installation. Again, I didn't have a need to get any inspections or anything else. I just did this all myself with the Bosch PowerMax charger. Thanks for watching. Bye.